outside the bathroom, unscrewing the four screws that hold the metal grill where the cold air goes back down to the furnace. I looked inside and I looked down and I saw light coming in from the crawl space down the bottom of my house. And I looked straight ahead and it was the back side of the wall, the old lath and plaster wall that surrounds the shower and the linen cabinet. And I looked up and I saw bats of fiberglass insulation hanging down from the attic. And I realized that for 15 years, every time I'd turn up the setting on the thermostat to activate the warm air furnace, my wife and I had been sucking air from our crawl space, occupied by, I won't go into, from the walls throughout the house and from the attic. And that air was coming in with all kinds of stuff that I don't want to mention and we wish we weren't breathing. Now this is coming from somebody who's been in construction for many decades, who thought he knew something about how buildings work, but who had to admit that I've got a lot to learn. So who's here today? How many of you folks are contractors? How many of you would say you're home performance contractors? How many of you are homeowners that are thinking of doing some work on your home? How many of you are building officials, permit technicians, kind of work the front lines in terms of getting this work done on the record? Any realtors here today or lenders interested in property values? What we're talking about here is our homes and our buildings. Most of which have been with us for quite a while and virtually all of them are going to be with us for a long time. We're hoping that the building industry picks up and that people will be able to build more new buildings. But at least at this point, it looks like most of the action is going to be in working on our existing buildings and taking them as they are for better or for worse. And the home performance industry is concerned with figuring out just that. And like let's Liz said earlier, human beings, we've been building shelters for, for eons. In some ways, our forefathers and foremothers seem to know a lot more about how to build a shelter. I, I to totally be a agree with that, yeah. that in the context of an urban environment, it's not always practical to make it fit on a 60 by 100 lot. It's True. Cell phone, you know what I mean? And whether we want to or not, you know, in our best model city, we've got what we've got. Exactly. So that's what we got to work with. And we've also got the consequences of having built our buildings the way we did and built our transportation systems the way we did in terms of its impact on our global environment. And that's why we're here now. That's why there's an energy program in Sonoma County because the overwhelming number of you here felt that Things are getting bad, we gotta do something to change it. So what I'm gonna do today, and Paul Rosen, my associate here, um, is gonna do, is give you just a, a real teaser, like a brief glimpse at the kinds of things that we go into. And we're gonna invite you all to come back here on Saturday, if you can shake yourself loose on Saturday, and come back on Saturday, uh, another associate, Kevin, Beck and I um, are going to go into greater depth on all of these topics. And even that Saturday, that one day Saturday, is just really an invitation to get more involved. If you feel it's your calling and your interest to do so. Starting next Thursday, a week from today, is going to be the first of three days of more intensive training. It's called Green Home Energy Upgrade. It's a program that's been offered 
by the CBPCA, which is the Building Performance Contractors Association here in California. There are m people here that I've, whose faces are familiar, I've seen before at CBPCA trainings. Some of you have gone all the way through to the third level after nine days of training to be, take a test for BPI, Building Performance Institute. It's a national, highly regarded, perhaps the most highly regarded certificate for people who want to know about how buildings perform. So this track, this series of trainings is now available right here in this room, Saturday, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the following week going on to level two, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Only the first couple of days we're actually going to go out and test and analyze a house. It's probably going to be Liz, Liz Yeager's house. Uh, she lives not far away from here and prepare a report for her as a homeowner what we find in terms of how her house performs and doesn't perform well and what we think can be done what would be cost effective how she could sign up and participate in the energy independence program here in Marin uh, last time we did this what's that? Sonoma. It's Sonoma. I'm sorry I'm from Marin so if I get confused correct me I'm one of the people nearby whose eyes are on Sonoma who wants to do everything I can to make this program succeed and get off to a strong start because believe me Marin County counties throughout the state and eyes across the nation are looking at what's going on here to want to see one program that's doing building energy retrofits right doing it well making a dent actually reducing those greenhouse gases and accomplishing what we're we set out to do who and alleviating the amount of fossil fuel that we're depending on to run our society. So next Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the level one classroom work right here in this room. The following Thursday, Friday, Saturday is level two, spending two days out in the field uh, doing an analysis of a house. And then a couple months past in September will be this level three where people who really want to go and get their Building Performance Institute certification can do the written test. So I invite you all to consider how much of that you'd like to do. And Paul and I decided here today that if you're willing to come back on Saturday, we'll make it worth your while to come back next week. Uh, if this has pricked your interest, um, there'll be a special arrangement. I'll talk more about that later. So let's do a kind of a quick jump through some of the some of the issues that we'll be going into more detail on Saturday. It's important to know that even though this is an energy efficiency program, if it's really pressing? Uh, sir, if you can't make it on Saturday, can you still come? You can come, yeah. Saturday is really an introduction to what's going to happen starting next Thursday. You will get everything in greater detail. But as often... Saturday, yeah, that's okay. Uh, so Saturday is not a prerequisite. Uh, but I think it would be a good introduction to kind of get you started you to get you, but you don't need it. So it's important to know that even though energy efficiency is the foundation of this program and is going to be the the real litmus test of whether we're accomplishing what we're setting out to do, that when you work on reducing the energy that a house requires to operate, you're also making it a more comfortable house to live in, a more healthy and safe environment for you and your family to be in. And you're also making the house a more durable house that's going to last over the years. And as such, you're adding to its property value on the market. And where they've bothered to track such green or sustainable improvements and put them on the multiple listing service, which is what realtors use as a reference and a marketing device, in Washington State, they found that houses that were shown by a third party evaluation to be more green and sustainable, more energy efficiency, are selling faster and are selling at a higher price. Which is certainly something to consider in today's market. And we hope that the kind of improvements that are made possible in this program are going to really turn around this sluggish market we have and get things headed back in a more uh, economically sound fashion.